the human race is one of the four races that players can spawn with when the player first joined the game. There's a 80% chance to have this race on spawn. Upgrading this race to V2 will increase GHW range and reduce the cooldown of your Soru and also gives you an extra Ken Haki. Another useful thing is that, even if you change races, the extra Ken Haki won't disappear. Upgrading this race to V3 will give you a special skill which allows you to deal 2.25 to 52.25% more damage. Human race would be a good pair with stun fruits such as ice and dark. Skypean race gives you the ability of jumping higher than the other races. Upgrading this race to V2 allows your first jump to be higher and also gives an extra sky jump. Upgrading this race to V3 will give you a skill called Heavenly Blood, heals you about 1 to K health, and 100 to 200 stamina in a few seconds, but reduces your damage to deal only 20% of the damage you normally deal. The cooldown for it is 21 seconds. I don't have Cyborg Race so I will only explain how to get and what this race does. To get Cyborg Race, you must start a lore aid using a Fist of Darkness and defeat Lore until he drops a core brain. Upgrading this race to V2 gives you 10% defense against melee, sword and gun attacks. Additionally, 15% of received damage converts to energy. Upgrading this race to V3 gives you an ability called Energy Core. Your defense increases up to 80% against any attack. After 2.5 seconds, you'll release an explosion equal to 40% of absorbed damage plus 7.5% of your max health along with knockback. To get the ghoul race you will need 100 ectoplasm and a hellfire torch which can be obtained by killing the raid boss in cursed ship. This race increase your regeneration slightly, and run speed by 30% at night. Upgrading this race to V2 allows you to life leech, 25% of melee damage dealt to players and 5% of melee damage dealt to NPCs will heal the user. Upgrading this race to V3 unlocks heightened senses which allows you to use skills that are still on 40% cooldown. Boost 5% damage, 10% speed, and 15% defense. Lasts for 8 seconds. This race allows you to swim freely in water despite having a devil fruit. Some people use it to camp in water when they are low in health. Upgrading this race to V3 gives you an ability where you can absorb 90% of any upcoming damage. This is great to avoid getting one-shotted and it has approximately 20 seconds of cooldown. The mink race increases your running speed. Upgrading it to V2 will increase your speed again and your dash will be slightly longer and will cost less energy. Upgrading this race to V3 gives you a special ski which makes you run 4x faster. It lasts for 7 seconds and have a 30 seconds cooldown.
That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you have your own list feel free to comment it down below. Goodbye.